Amen. We give God the praise, give God the glory, give God the honor on this blessed Sunday morning. The Lord has been good to us, been kind to us, been gracious unto us, allow us to come back to his house of worship, to lift them up, amen, in spirit and in truth. What an awesome God that we serve, that we come to worship you, amen, and magnify the Lord on this morning, oh God. We give you praise and give you glory and give you honor. We welcome you to the Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church. Located at 3835 Whitewater Road, right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia. Share, amen, this link and this broadcast telecast with a neighbor, friend, family, amen, on this morning. It's a wonderful day, amen, to be among the living and yet giving God the praise and giving him the glory and the honor. Let us go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. God, we just give you praise. God, we just give you glory. And God, we just give you honor. We just magnify your name. And God, you're so worthy to be praised, so worthy to be exalted, so worthy to be lifted up on this blessed Sunday morning. We thank you, God, for the grand opportunity to come and worship you in spirit and in truth on this morning. We thank you, Father, for these that are here and these that are listening, these that are tuning in to this broadcast, this telecast on this blessed day, oh God. And God, we pray that you move by your power, by your spirit, and by your anointing, God. Just have your way, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Dip us down in your power and your anointing. Oh, God, let it flow, oh, God, in this place on this morning, God. We just thank you for it, God. And, Lord, we just commend this service in your hand that you would just touch out and reach out, God, and heal, set free, and deliver on today, God. You know what we stand in the need of right now, God. We thank you for it. We give you praise in advance what you're going to do for us on this day and forevermore, God. We thank you and we lift you up. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen.
Amen. Lord, we lift you up and we give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor. God, you're so good to us and so kind to us and gracious unto us. We say welcome again to the Greater Mount Carey Missionary Baptist Church located right here in the city of Valdosta, Georgia at 3835 Whitewater Road. Amen. We invite you to come and tune in with us. Amen. Live stream. Amen. On today. Amen. And share it with the family and friend. Happy birthday to all those that are celebrating in this month of February. Amen. Happy birthday to you, you, and especially you. Join us on each and every Wednesday night for Wednesday Night Word online live stream at 7 o'clock p.m. And also join us on this coming up Wednesday for our Amen Wednesday Night Live Amen service. Amen. At 7 o'clock p.m. live stream as we worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Remember, join us for Conference Call Sunday School each and every Sunday. At 9.20 a.m. Conference call Sunday school at 9.20 a.m. Each and every Sunday. You can dial the number 701-802-5337. And the access code is 683-1205 in the pound symbol. You can also join us on each and every Sunday for at 10.15 a.m. For our morning worship experience online live stream. The link to join us is www.worshipwith mtcalvary.org forward slash live. You may also give your tithe and offering by downloading the application Givelify to your phone or the link www.worshipwithmtcalvary.org forward slash giving, G-I-V-I-N-G. You can also drop off your tithe and offering to our designated deacons in the front parking area on Amen each and every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then you also can pick up your communion sacraments, amen, during those times as well for the next month, amen, for the next month of the first service, Sunday in the next month, amen. Please remember that. We want to certainly thank each and every one of you that have continued to support, amen, the church and your tithe and your offering. I want to thank you, you, and especially you. And by chance, you have not had the opportunity, amen, to, amen, do it and consider doing it and continue to do it, amen, that you have not, amen, been able to give your tithe and offer. We have all these avenues that you can come and give your tithe and offer to continue to support the church, even though we're not open to the public, but we're still, amen, serving the Lord in spirit and in truth. So we continue, we still need your support here at Calvary with your tithes and your offering, amen. Just because we out, amen, because of a pandemic, amen, your envelope, amen, your giving don't have to be out as well. But you can give, amen, through Givelify. You can give by dropping off your tithes and offering, amen, to our designated deacons in the parking lot on Sundays, amen. If you don't, if you can't do that, you can't come out or whatever, amen, contact one of our deacons and they'll be glad to pick up your tithes and your offering. Let us continue to give unto the Lord, even during this time, amen. Please continue to pray for one another, amen. A special prayer request for the following deaconess, Bertha Neal, Sister Joy and Kaya, Sister Debbie Gray, Brother Andy Hart, Minister Eric Curtin, Deacon James Mike Burrow, Brother Arthur Barton, uh, Brother Eddie Jones, and also Brother Reginald Black. Praying for all those that are being challenged or suffering through the COVID-19 virus pandemic personally, physically, indirectly, or directly. We continue to pray for you. COVID-19 drive-through free testing is being conducted by the Lowndes County Health Department. Amen. You can call the number 229-333-5257. That's 229-333-5257. And you'll be given an appointment time and a PUI number when you call. You can also register online at covid19.dph.ga.gov. That's covid, the number 19.dph.ga.gov. You can do it online. You be, the client will need the complete information online and you'll be able to get a PUI number in an appointment time as well. You will need an email address to receive the results, information, or smartphone device. We wanted to let you know this is alternative instead of calling on the phone and trying to get a, an appointment uh, scheduled for testing. This test only takes less than five minutes. They're being conducted by the Lyons County Health Department, 206 South Patterson Street, 
downtown Valdosta. That's 206 South Patterson Street, downtown Valdosta. Amen. So God bless you. And heaven keep you is our prayer. Just a few thank you cards. Amen. Thank you for your special ministry. God has blessed with gifts that are making a difference. Wisdom and truth you share. Compassion and your encouragement. Love and your care and comfort. Thank you for the way you have used the special gift God has given you to bless and minister to others. Amen. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. No words could ever express our appreciation for the love and support that our church family has shown to us after the passing of our dear mother, the late Sister Curly A. Clemens Bradley. We greatly, uh, deeply appreciate you. Thank you. That's from, amen, the family of the late, amen, Sister Curly and Clemens Bradley. A thank you card. Also, another thank you card to each one of you. Knowing people as you gives life a brighter touch. And so, to each and all of you, thanks very, very much. Amen. That's from Amen. Deaconess uh, Laura Hart and family in loving memory of her father. Amen. The late Mr. William Gary Cooper. Amen. Let's continue to pray for both of these families that God will continue to sustain and keep them during their hour, amen, of bereavement and days and years to come. At this time, amen, we know this month is Black History Month, the month of February. So this morning, we want to, amen, to, amen, do just a, 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 just a portion of a Moments in Black History by Deaconess Lily Roberts. Good morning. We give honor to God, the pastor, and everybody in their respective places. A moment in black history. You said you couldn't read. I showed you Floyd Mayweather and Fantasia. You said you're homeless. I showed you Tyler Perry and Tiffany Haddish. You said you thought you couldn't get past the dark place. I showed you Jennifer Hudson. You said you were nothing but a drug addict. I showed you Samuel L. Jackson. You said your appearance would hinder your opportunities. I showed you Lizzo. You said you were molested. I showed you Oprah Winfrey. You said nobody could be cancer. I showed you Robin Roberts. You said life was over because you were HIV positive. I showed you Magic Johnson. You said the odds were against you because you were adopted. I showed you Nelson Mandela. You said you weren't strong enough to persevere. I showed you Chadwick Boseman. You said you couldn't leave the streets. I showed you Jay-Z. You said you were cheated on and it crushed you. I showed you Beyonce. You said your father wasn't round and your mother struggled. I showed you LeBron James. You said mixed kids never really fit in. I showed you Barack Obama. You said you were too old and your time was up. I showed you Tiger Woods. You said you should give up after losing the biggest opportunity of your life. I showed you Stacey Abrams. You said you grew up in public housing, and I showed you Raphael Warnock. You said no one would listen because of your speech impediment. I showed you Amanda Gorman. You said no woman has ever risen that far. I showed you Kamala Harris. Perseverance is the power that fuels our becoming. We are warriors. worth saving so you came and changed my life you thought I was worth keeping so you cleaned me up inside you thought I was to die for so you sacrificed your life so I could be free so I could be whole so I could tell everyone I know you thought, you I, thought was I was worth saving so you came so you came and changed my life you thought, you I, thought I was worth keeping oh yeah so you cleaned me up inside you thought, you thought I, I was to die for 
Thank you that he thought we were worth saving, that he came and he bled and died for us on the cross of Calvary and got up out of the grave and arose that we might, amen, be able to have life as best as it could be in eternal life. And thanks be unto God. We give God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, praise on this morning and honor on this morning. To our ministerial staff here at Mount Calvary, to their spouses, to my spouse, Lady Evelyn Diane Vincent, to our deacons, deaconess, mothers, saints, and friends, to all of God's people in your respective places. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time, to lift them up, to magnify his name, because he's truly worthy to be praised. Amen. Worthy to be praised. Our scripture on this morning, one verse of scripture, one uplift for our text on this morning. Out of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, and verse number 18. Ephesians 6 and 18 simply says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. 
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. And God, we just give you glory and we give you honor on this blessed Sunday morning. Thank you that our eyes came open and we saw a brand new day. Thank you that we had a mind to come and worship you, Father God. Thank you for the place to come and worship. Thank you for the place called Mount Calvary on the day. And God, we thank you for these your people that are hearing, these your people that are listening and tuning in to this broadcast and telecast on this day. And God, we pray right now that you would dip, them down, dip us down your power and your anointing, oh God, to bless your people on today, God. God, you know what we stand in the need of right now. We ask you to move in a mighty way, God. Just bless them indeed, oh God. Oh God, bless them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, just have your way, oh God, in a special way. Move, oh God, among, among your people right now, God. Set free, healed, and deliver right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare a breakthrough right now. That your power, your power, your anointing will rest right now. In the name of Jesus. And God, we give you the praise. And God, we give you the glory. And God, we give you the honor. We bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Give us teaching and preaching power. Keep us near the cross. That we might decrease and increase in your power and your anointing. In Christ's name, we do pray. Amen and amen. We give God all the praise and all the glory on this blessed Sunday morning. Amen. He's been good to us. Where are we ought to be glad about it. Amen. Ought to be glad about it. Out of Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verse 18, I promise you this day, amen, I just want to drop this off in your spirit on this morning. Amen and amen and let you know what thus says the Lord on this morning. But on today, I want to talk with you from the text, amen, from amen, Ephesians 6 and 18 amen our subject today is i'm all over it amen i'm all over it amen i'm all over it yeah and a day that we're living in and a time that we're living in we certainly need prayer amen i say we certainly need prayer we need more prayer than we need anything else that we're living in we need prayer we need prayer prayer changes thing and prayer will change you and will change your situation Ephesians so says praying always with, with all prayer and supplication then it says with all perseverance for what all saints and we certainly need more prayer yeah with, with, with another verse another version of that scripture says with all prayer and petition pray with specific requests at all times on every occasion and every season in the spirit and with this in view stay alert with all perseverance and petition interceding in prayer for all God's people amen we want to amen let you know I'm all over it I'm all over it yeah on this week someone sent me something uh, a, a Bible a devotion uh, that they may read every day and they shared it with me on this a week, and I tell you, it blessed my heart. It came in, amen, as confirmation is what we were going to be talking about on today, but that I'm all over it. Yeah, because, amen, the text we've been talking about in Bible study, I know y'all been watching Bible study every week. We've been in, a, amen, a series for the last three weeks talking about don't worry, amen, but be happy. Yeah, some of y'all might remember that if y'all been watching, amen. But it was certainly... Amen. It, it talk, in, the, in the devotion they sent me, it lets us know, amen, that, amen, about prayer. It talked about take it to God in prayer. Take it to God in prayer. And it was talking about a, a, a lady, a preacher, I was talking to, amen, after preaching about, amen, taking our worries to God in prayer, a lady approached a certain preacher, and she said, I don't bother God with little things. Amen. I only take the big ones to him. And the preacher replied to her, my, my dear lady, everything we take to God is little. Yeah, everything that we take to God is little. He said, for the Bible says, cast your burdens on the Lord, releasing the weight of them, and he will what sustain you. God knows that you're not built to carry the weight of worry, so he invites you to give it to him on today. And anything that's big enough, amen, to be a source of anxiety should be turned into what? Prayer. It says anything 
anything big enough to be a source of anxiety should be turned into prayer. Then the Bible reminds us in Peter, it says, cast in the whole of your care, your, all your anxiety, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. There go a lot of all in there. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully, that God cares. Note a man in the text that says that casting, that's the opposite of caring. I said casting is the opposite of caring. The moment you recognize that a worry is beginning to weight you down, cast it on the Lord, knowing that he cares for you affectionately and he cares about you watchfully, knowing if he has, if, know, now if he has what, amen, a distant from God who didn't care about you. Now, if he was a distant God who didn't care about you. God is not distant. He cares about us. You will have a reason to worry, but God cares about it. We don't serve a God that is distant from us, but a God that is what? Near us. Or if he was a God that was weak, he couldn't do anything about it. Amen. You will have a reason to worry. We don't serve a weak God. The truth is, is as you, amen, give your worries to God, that you will discover how big he really is. Yeah, you discover how really big God is. And then it closes out with this devotion, closes out with this. A songwriter, amen, amen, wrote the song, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pains we bear. All because we do not carry what everything to God in prayer. Y'all know that old familiar hymn, what a friend we have in Jesus. It's all in that we, we hear it, we hear it over and over again for years and years. But do we really listen to all the stanzas and all the words in that great hymn that Amen uh, Joseph's Amen Scriven wrote? Amen. Oh what peace we often for what we give up and what or what needless pain we bear, what we suffer. All because we do not carry everything, not some things, but everything to God in prayer. Yeah, I'm all over it. Yeah, there's a phrase that used to describe someone who has who is anxious and eager to handle a situation. You might hear it in the context of a coworker suggest to another that something needs to be done. The other worker responds, I'm all over it. With with the phrase they're saying, There's no need to worry. I have it covered. I have it under control. I understand the situation. I am taking it, take, taking care of it. I'm all over it. The word, the world will be a different place. And we as believers will respond to the question, how is your prayer life? We should answer, I'm all over it. Yeah. How is your prayer life? You ought to be saying, I'm all over it. Can you respond in that way today? When it comes to prayer, you should be all over it. In Ephesians, we read in our text this morning with prayer and request, pray all times in the spirit and stay alert in it with all what perseverance and in the session for all saints. This is one of the Bible's amazing verses on prayer. When we examine it closely, you will discover some guidelines how to have an effective and an exciting prayer life. I say how to have an effective and an exciting prayer life. See, when you go to the Lord and pray, you ought to be amen, going, well, I'm going to go pray. No, you ought to be excited about what you're going to talk to God about. The words of the verse reminds us of some things to get all over as we pray. Yeah, let me go hurry on. Amen. I don't come to worry your patience long on this morning. I told you I'm going to drop it off to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. So you better grab it, amen, and get on, amen, down the road. But it says, I'm all over it. Yeah, the scripture says, uh, the text says, I'm all over it. And it tells us, amen, one point number one, I want to make it clear to you this morning that in your prayer life, that ought to be your response. When something come up in your life, you ought to be able to say, I'm all over it in prayer. That is, uh, I'm not all over it in worry. I'm not all over it in panic. I'm not all over it in stressed out, but I'm all over it in prayer. Yeah, I'm all over it. Yeah, point number one I want to make with you on this morning is all times. All times. That prayer is always in order. Yeah, you ought to be able, amen, to pray about everything all of the time. Yeah, amen, you can't sleep all the time. Amen, you can't eat all the time. Amen, but you can pray about things all times. There's not, amen, a time that you can't, amen, wake up, amen, in the middle of the night and you can say a word of prayer. Yeah, you can drive down the road and you can say a word of prayer. You can be on your job and you can say a word of prayer all times. It said with every prayer and request, 
pray all times what in the spirit. The Bible tells us that we are to pray what without ceasing. But for many believers, this is not understood in a practical sense. Prayer for each individual must be become a daily, cons amen, consistent, amen, constant way of living. I say constant and consistent way of living. You do everything else. Can, why can't you pray all times? And in given moment, we are only a thought and a breath from amen communicating with God. And in a given moment, you're only amen a thought and a breath from communicating with God. I didn't say you had to get down on your knees to pray. Amen. I didn't say you had to amen put a top a, a hat on your head to pray. I didn't say amen you had to grab your Bible to pray. But amen, you can amen say a quick quick prayer any place or any time. Yeah, you don't get it mixed up. Don't get it twisted. Some people amen say, well, you got to stay down there a whole hour. You got to stay down there fifteen minutes. Minutes. You got to stay down there 30 minutes. You got to stay down there. Amen. Amen. This time you got, you got to pray at noon. You got to pray at night. You got to pray early in the morning. But I come to tell you when you find amen, a moment, a second, amen, a minute, you ought to be able to utter a prayer to God uh, at any moment, at any given time, our thought and breath from communicating God is, can be just like that. Lord have mercy. You don't pray right there. Amen. 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 Because why? Amen. At all times, all times I'm all over it. I'm all over it in prayer. In a day and age that we're, amen, we're living, we, ought to, we pride ourselves on high-speed internet connections. Yeah, y'all know y'all do. Some of y'all got some of the fastest internet connections that you ever had in your life. Amen. Amen. We also have a high-speed instant access connection with the Heavenly Father. Yeah, I come to tell you, you have the best Wi-Fi in the world. Amen. That's just calling on the name of the Lord. Amen. He connects quicker than anything else. I don't care if you got AT&T, God is better than AT&T. You might have Verizon, but I come to tell you, God is better than them. Amen. Better than T-Mobile. Better than any other plan out there. Because, amen, his plan been paid for a long time ago. Amen. He don't change. Amen. He don't go up and down. Amen. He don't, amen, not control. Sometimes with certain internet companies, amen, when the weather get bad, yours out. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Amen. And these times when people, a lot of people when these times are going on with kids being at home on the internet, amen, amen, things are going a little slow because a lot of people at home, amen, doing virtual learning and it, it slows down, amen, the internet access. Y'all ain't caught that yet. You wonder why you was moving a little slow because a lot of people at home working at home and kids are at home, amen, on the internet, amen, working, amen, on schoolwork. People are working on their jobs at home. Why? Because of what the time that we're living in. But God never slowed down. <coughs> I said, God's service never slow down. He never lose a connection. Amen. God don't drop you in the middle of your transmission. Amen. But God be right there with you. He's the best Wi-Fi that you ever had. He always stay up and high. Amen. He don't have no just two digits on the screen. But God, amen, is always at the right level that you need at the right time in the right place. I'm so glad. That I serve a God that got a good connection. Amen. I serve a God, amen, that got a great connection. Amen. I serve a God that got an awesome connection. Amen. Yours might, amen, you might be way in the backwood of, amen, South Georgia, but God still could connect with you. <coughs> yeah, you might be, amen, on the mountaintop in a desert area, but God still can connect with you. And I'm so glad I don't, amen, depend on the plan, but God already made the plan. Amen. I don't depend on, amen, paying the bill because the bill been paid a long time ago on the cross of Calvary. And I come to tell you, you ought to be all over it in prayer, all times. In the book of Psalms, we come, we see some great insights into the approach that David took in praying all times. Not just sometimes, but David was praying all times. He leaves us some example. You said, preacher, what are you talking about? I'm glad you asked me on this morning. In Psalms 4, we are reminded that he prayed before ending the day. Hmm. In Psalms 5, we see that David prayed at the start of his day. In Psalms 6, we see how he prayed in the aftermath of his failures. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Yeah, he prayed in Psalm 7. Amen. He prayed when the pressure was on him and he was under attack. In Psalms 8, he prayed when he thought of the created power of God. In Psalms 9, we see him pray in the times of joy. Even when times are going good, he still prayed. Y'all ain't caught that yet. Yeah, in the time in, in Psalms 10, he prayed when he felt isolated. Amen. David, find time to pray. And I come to tell you, you got to find time to pray. At 
at all times. David found out, amen, that even though, amen, he was God anointed and God appointed, but he still had to pray, amen, and call on the name of the Lord. And I come to tell you this morning, you got to pray at all times. You ought to be all over it. I'm all over it, amen, in prayer. It is safe to say that David had a lifestyle of praying without ceasing and stress, amen, how important it is to keep the lines of communication open with God. And I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you got to keep that line of communication open with God on this morning. If you're going to get a breakthrough, you're going to get things to turn around in your life. You're going to get God to move in the area of your life. You got to, amen, have a line of communication with God and talk with God. You just can't talk with Susie Q every day and don't ever talk to God. Amen. You can't talk to your boo and your babe every day and never talk to amen, talk to God. You can't be talking to your next door neighbor across the street and across the fence, amen, and never talk to God. But you ought to find yourself, amen, talking to God every day and telling God something. If you ain't got to do nothing but tell him thank you, you ought to find yourself talking to God. See, you ain't always got to be asking God for something when you pray, but you ought to just be telling him thank you for the things that he already done and what he's going to do for you and where he brought you from, what he's doing for you right now. You can always find something to talk to God about. Amen. Because that's nothing but prayer. Prayer is just talking to God and having communication with God at all times. I'm all over it at all times in prayer. Secondly, my brothers and sisters on this morning, all types. Yeah, all types. All times and all types. It says, amen, and stay alert in this with all perseverance and intercession. All perseverance and intercession. We're living in a day and time where people don't want to press nowhere. They they maybe they want to hit it and quit it. Amen. They don't want amen. Amen. They don't want to amen spend no time with the Lord. Yeah. They rather amen spend time doing worldly things. They rather spend time, amen, doing things that pleases them. They rather spend time, amen, doing things that make them feel, amen, all right and satisfied. But I come to tell you, nothing can satisfy you like Jesus, uh, amen. But you need to understand it with all perseverance. Uh, if, you, if anything worth having is worth going through about it, amen. And you got to understand, you ain't going to get everything easy in life. Uh, everything ain't going to come quick to you in life. Uh, can I help our young people on today that you got to understand, you can't, amen, jump from job to job. You got to stay on one job, amen, in order, because when you get old, when you get down, down the road uh, and your body, amen, get a little age on it uh, and you look back over them years but you jump from job to job and you ain't got nothing built up, y'all don't hear me, you ain't got no retirement in, amen, and, amen, you ain't got no, you ain't got no quarters to get even no social security, amen, because why, you, amen, jump from this job to that job, amen, this state nowhere long, didn't do nothing long, long enough, you didn't have no perseverance, uh, let me tell you something, if they pay you a million dollars a day, somebody on that job gonna get on your nerve, uh, if they pay you ten dollars a day, somebody on that job gonna get on your nerve, uh, you got to have a made up mind that you're going to stay right there. You're going to persevere. You're going to do what you got to do to make a living as a provide for yourself and your family for your future. Amen. <laughs> it's just the truth of the matter. People don't like to hear the truth. Amen. They jump from church to church. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Somebody say something wrong to them. And they get mad and leave. And want to quote a scripture. I'm going to shake the dust off my feet. Amen. Want to throw a scripture in? That's you. I don't time you remember that. The only time you remember scriptures is when you want to. Amen. Get mad about something. Amen. I might as well tell it like it is. But if you keep jumping from church to church, and when you get to the other church, you're gonna find out they're gonna be the same way over there. Same thing going over there, going over there. <coughs> you can't find no perfect church, and you ain't perfect. Can I help you? Amen. You ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. Amen. You're looking for the perfect preacher. Amen. Well, he don't do, he don't say, he don't, he don't preach like I like. Well, what you talking about then? If it's the word, you ought to get with it and go on with it. Amen. Let the word get in. You see, you worried about how he tune up and how he holler and how he grab his ear and how, amen, he break down this and break down that. And then you still, amen, going to hell anyway. Because you ain't made your mind to turn your life over to God. Yeah, amen. I can come in here and I can get all hit all the notes you want me to hit. And then preach your socks off and you still can die and go to hell. If you haven't had God, God to change your heart. Y'all don't hear me. You got to learn how to persevere through some things. Amen. Time you, amen, things get hard in your life and in your family life. Amen. You want to get mad, amen, and, and, and get and walk away from folks. But honey, let me tell you something. Them same folks you walk away from, amen, them might be the one you need to bring your cold glass of water before you leave this place called 
plan of every. You don't know what gonna take, amen, what, what life gonna bring you down the road that you're gonna need somebody else uh, to help you down the road. Amen. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. You because you up today, because amen, you doing for yourself today, because amen, you living on your own today, but you don't know 20 years from now, 30 years from now, up to even tomorrow, amen. Anything can happen to any of us uh, that can change the course of our life. You got to persevere. Yeah, you got the press. You just can't give up, amen, so quickly, so fast. And that's how the enemy get a lot of folks. They give up so quick and so fast. Amen. They quick to throw in the towel. They quick, amen, amen, to say, I quit. I give up. I'm throwing it out. I, I ain't coming back no more. I ain't going through this no more. I ain't dealing with this no more. But you got to have perseverance, amen. And you got to stay, the scriptures say, stay alert hey, with all perseverance in intercession. You got to pray. You got to, amen, go before God and ask God to intercede in your behalf and God to move in your behalf. You can't be amen so quick, amen, a quick draw saint. You got to stand fast and stand on the word of God. Amen. Some of y'all so quick about amen, this, that, and the other. Ain't prayed about nothing. Ain't asked God about nothing. You so quick about marrying Junebug and find out Junebug didn't have a job you thought he had. Amen. You find out Junebug wasn't all of that. Amen. Junebug was just a bug and wasn't nothing to the June. Y'all don't hear me, but I come to tell you, but if you just persevere and wait on the Lord, amen, wait on the Lord, the Lord is Sing you the right person. Amen. You'll get a June bug, a July bug, and an August bug. Amen. You just wait on the Lord and God will give you everything that you need. You just persevere and pray to the Lord and ask the Lord to help you. Then you want to wait and marry a June bug and he ain't no good. And then the first thing you want to say, oh, Lord, that's too late now. Amen. You in the mess you in. Amen. But I come to tell you, stay. Amen. All types. All types. Praying, praying happens in so many ways in our life as a Christian. And we offer up prayers of praise to our Heavenly Father. These prayers are where we simply thank God and express our gratitude to God all types. We pray about, amen, the things that the trouble of us and that weights us down and heavy our hearts. We pray about them all types. We pray for those moments that we have failed and let God down all types. An important part of our prayer lives is spent time spent praying for others. I said time spent praying for others. Yeah, we pray earnestly and sincerely prayer, all types. We pray for our family, our friends, and even our enemy, all types. We pray for our hopes, our dreams, our vision, and our destiny, all types. We pray for our fears, our faults, and our failures. We pray all types. We pray for our yesterday, our today, and our tomorrow. We pray for our battles, our struggles, and our dilemmas. We pray for all things, in all things, and for all things. Can I say that again? We pray for all things, in all things, and for all things. We're all over it. Somebody need to say I'm all over it in prayer. Yeah, I'm all over it in prayer. All types. Praying is a dynamic and active part of the lifestyle of a growing believer in God. See, when you begin to pray, you begin to grow in God. You begin to grow up and become, amen, a child, amen, of God and being, amen, mature in the spirit of God. The verse reminds us to keep at it. Keep praying for others. Amen. All types. Keep at it. That's what I come to tell you on this morning. I'm all over it. And you got to keep at it. All types. All times and all types. Lastly, my brothers and sisters, I begin to close on this morning all together. All times, all types, and all together. I'm all over it. It says, and stay alert in this with all perseverance and intercessions for all what saints. For all saints. See, sometimes we want to pray for who we want to pray for. We want to pray for who we like. And who, who can do something for us. Who's in our corner. They're from my background. They're from our neighborhood. They're from our creed. Amen. But the Bible says pray for all the saints. Prayer should be a constant. Amen. For the Christian. Our goal is to, for prayer to be as natural as our breathing. If prayer can become the habit of our lives, then the way we look at the world and deal with others will change because we know that we can pray for them and God can change them in us at the same time. Yeah, in praying for others, we are more likely to remember that we are all in this thing called life together. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, nobody here better than anybody else. It don't matter whether you got a better job than me or a lesser job than me. We're all in this thing called life together. 
We are, we are far too guilty for praying exclusively for ourselves. My four and no more. Amen. My family and nobody else's. Amen. My friend and nobody else. But the Bible didn't say that. It said for all of the saints. And if we find the right balance, we'll open our eyes and the knees of others as we pray for them. You remember the scripture in the Bible tell us about how Job began to pray for his friends. That God turned his captivity around. Amen. I come to tell you that sometimes we need to pray for others. And don't worry so much about ourselves. We realize, we realize that all we are part of the body of Christ. Just because you see somebody on the side of the road with a sign in their hand asking for food and some kind of money or some change. Don't look down on them because you don't know their story and what they went through. Yeah, they got some people out there doing the wrong thing. Amen. Being crooked and amen and using the wrong avenue. But you don't know one day Amen. You might be out there holding the sign. You don't know how life can change for you. So you need to pray for them and say, Lord, have mercy on them. If you don't give them a dollar, just pray for them. Amen. That God will be with them. Amen. When you see, amen, the ambulance, amen, going down the road in the light zone, you ought to be praying for somebody because it could be one of your family members they're going to see about. Y'all don't hear me. And when you, amen, see the hearse, amen, rolling from the hospital with somebody in the back, you ought not to be looking and saying, and looking funny and looking crazy but you ought to amen say a word of prayer and thank God it's not you riding your last ride amen in life but I come to tell you amen you ought to amen pray for somebody else yeah it gives us amen this gives us a new sense of purpose and renewed sense of hope as we remember that we are connected with the body of Christ as they say I pray for you and you pray for me and we'll see what the Lord gonna do amen I know he will and I know he can work it out for you when we pray all together amen i say all together the bible reminds us how we should chase amen how one chase a thousand and how two put a ten thousand to flight that when we begin to pray one for another if i pray for you i can put one i can put a thousand to flight but when we come together 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 it says two when we come together as two we can put ten thousand to flight and when you get more than two amen you can get a whole lot of folks together amen again to pray under god god can move in a mighty way. I'm glad, amen, that sister, sister ministry, amen, get on there, amen, begin, begin to pray, amen. They didn't stop praying because of the pandemic, but they found another avenue to pray. Why doing the pandemic? And I come to tell you, they pray, amen, on the third Saturday of every month, amen. They get in the conference call, even though, amen, we can't, they can't meet down here at the church like they used to do, amen, at six o'clock, but they get on the phone and they begin to call on the name of the Lord. I know what prayer can do because why I said they believe that they've been one Amen. It's more than one person on the line. Y'all don't hear me. It's more than two people on the line. It's more, amen, than three people on the line. It's more than 10. It's more than 20. It's more than 30. And it's more than 40. Yeah, I believe it was almost 50 people on one line on yesterday calling on the name of the Lord and telling God what they need and telling God thank you and giving God. God the praise and giving God the glory. And you imagine God begin to move some things on that line. Y'all don't hear me. I said, God begin to move things on that line, and God begin to touch hearts on that line. And amen, because every person on that line, y'all got to look at this thing. Every person on that line is connected to somebody. Y'all don't hear me? And they connected to somebody. They were praying for, for somebody, and somebody was praying for somebody else. And somebody Somebody else or somebody. I've been praying for three, four, one time. Person praying for five and, and God is on. I'll be some stuff. Come back through. And because why? I'm all over it. And I come to tell you, you ought to be all over it on this. Because we ought to be all over it in prayer on this morning. When problems come our way, we ought to be all over it in prayer. Calling on the name of the Lord. <laughs> Trusting in God that God will bring about a change in our lives. Uh, that God will send us some deliverance uh, in our lives. Uh, and if you're requesting something and it is wrong and God says no, but don't get mad with God. Uh, and if your timing is wrong and God says slow it down, don't get mad with God. Uh, and if you're wrong and God says grow and you need to just say, Lord, I thank you for it. Uh, but in the request is right and the timing is right and you are right with God. Uh, and God say go, you better give him some praise uh, and give him some glory. Uh, 
and, and give God the honor. Uh, and we could pray all the times uh, and all types of conversation with God uh, and take seriously our role in the kingdom and the work of God with others. Uh, we begin to experience God uh, in a powerful way. Uh, our lives will become lives uh, that are few by passion uh, and for living for Christ. Uh, and when it comes to prayer, uh, we should be all over it. Uh, amen. We should be all over it when it comes to prayer. Uh, nothing should take the place of prayer. Nothing should take the place uh, of calling on the name of the Lord. Uh, it will help you stay on track uh, as you strive to make a difference uh, in the world around you uh, and around your family and your friends. Uh, when we come together in prayer, uh, we should be all over it. Uh, I'm all over it. Uh, I know I'm going through my job, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, I know I'm going through something uh, in my body, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, I'm going through something in my finances, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, I'm going through something in my family, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, I'm going through something in the church, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, I'm going through this, that, and the other, uh, but I'm all over it. Uh, whatever it may be, uh, that I'm all over it, uh, because I know what prayer can do. Uh, I know that prayer can change things. Uh, I know that prayer can turn it around. Uh, I know what prayer can do uh, at all times, uh, at all types, uh, and all together. Uh, I'm in this thing together. Uh, all, all, all. Uh, I know how to call uh, on the name of the Lord. Uh, I know how to trust God uh, at his word. Uh, I'm all over it uh, in prayer. Uh, prayer, uh, prayer uh, done brought me this far. Uh, prayer uh, done kept me on the road. Uh, prayer uh, done sustained me down the road. Uh, prayer uh, done gave me strength for the journey. I'm all over it uh, in prayer. Uh, I know what prayer uh, can do. Uh, I know how prayer uh, can change things. Uh, I know what prayer can turn things around. Uh, I know that prayer can deliver. Uh, I know that prayer can heal. Uh, I know that prayer can set free. Uh, I know that prayer can bring back a wandering child. Uh, I know that prayer can put money in your pocket. Uh, I know that prayer can heal your body. Uh, I know that prayer can save your soul. Uh, I know that prayer can give you strength. Uh, I know that prayer can give you power. Uh, I know that prayer can lift your head. Uh, I know that prayer can dry the tears uh, from your eyes. Uh, I know that prayer. Uh, do you know what prayer can do? Uh, do you know what prayer can do? Uh, I said, do you know what prayer can do? Uh, prayer, uh, prayer uh, can change things. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. I say prayer can change things. Prayer can change things. I declare to you today. I decree to you today. If you got a problem in your life, if you got a situation in your life, if you got a circumstance in your life, I want you to try prayer today. I want you to try prayer. Try prayer. Call on the name. Call on his name. Call on his name. Call on his name. He'll come to your rescue. Call on his name. He'll come and see about you. Call on his name. Name. He'll come to your rescue. Won't he, Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yeah! 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 I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. In prayer. I'm all over it. In prayer. I'm all over it. In prayer. Yeah! I'm all over it huh? in prayer huh? why because huh? I know the power huh? I understand and huh? I know the power power and I understand the power of prayer anybody understand the power of prayer anybody understand the power that's power that's power power yeah power in prayer yeah power prayer to go this morning I feel all right that's right I'm over it all over it I'm all over it all over it on it in prayer you're all over it in prayer. Ain't no harm done hauling on the love. Ain't no done huh, calling on the love. Ain't no done huh, call name. Huh, Lord, huh, I, I, I got healed one day huh, calling on him. Huh, I got delivered one day huh, calling on him. Huh, I got a breakthrough one day.
one day, calling on him. I got brought out one day, calling on him. He turned it around while I was calling on him. I was down. I was down. I was down on my knees, calling on him. Hey, 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 hey. He came. He came. He came to my rescue. He came and saw about me. And he all right. And he all right. And he all right. Yeah. 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 Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep calling him. Keep calling him. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good God Almighty, good God Almighty. I feel like preaching this morning. I said I feel like preaching this morning, but I got to leave y'all alone this morning. But I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Why am I all over it? Because I know what prayer did for me, and you know what prayer did for you. I say you ought to know that you know that you know that you know what prayer did for you, and you ought to have a testimony that I'm all over it. I've been through hell and high water, but I'm all over it. I've been up and down, but I'm all over it. Somebody say I've been broke as a joke, but I'm all over it. I know what the Lord can do. I know what prayer can do. I'm reminded of Jesus and the garden of Gethsemane. He cried out to God, not my will, but not my will, but let your will be done. And the Bible said, the Bible said, that he prayed I say that he prayed that he said I'm all over it I'm all over it I know what I got to do I know what I got to do I know what God sent me for him I know what God sent me here for and I got to do it I got to go to that cross I got to do it for somebody 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 one day they gonna call on me and I got to go to that cross somebody somebody one day gonna need a savior I got to go to that cross. Somebody gonna need a redeemer. And I got to go to that cross. He said, Father, Father, not my will, but thine will be done. Don't let her. I gotta know let her this cup pass from me. But I gotta take this cup up. I gotta take up this cup. And I gotta go to the cross. But Father, 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 Father. Father, 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 not my will, but thy will be done. I'm glad this morning that he stayed down there. I'm glad this morning that he stayed down there and he prayed for you and he prayed for me. He prayed for you and he prayed for me. He prayed for you and he prayed for me. He prayed for you and he prayed for me. Yeah, yeah. And he went to the grave, but he got up early Sunday morning. He got up with all power. Jesus said, I'm all over it. He said, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Father, not my will, but thy will be done. And he went to the grave, and he died on an old rugged cross, and he stayed in the grave. But he got up there early Sunday morning with all power in his hand. Aren't you glad this morning that he got up? Aren't you glad this morning that right now, right now, he's sitting on the right hand of God right now? making intercessions for you and I. In other words, when you call God, it got to go through Jesus. I say when you call on God, it got to go through Jesus. And I come to tell you, and when it go through Jesus, he's sitting on the right hand of God. And when you say God, he say, yes, my child. When you say Jesus, he say, yes, my child. I need a blessing. He lean over to God the Father and say, God, that's your 
your child. That's your child. They need a blessing. I come to tell you that God, Jesus Christ, is sitting there waiting on you to call out to him. To say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Back in the old church, we used to call on Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, sir. Y'all used to pick at him. Y'all used to laugh at him. Y'all used to scorn the old church that called on Jesus. But I come to tell you, down when they called on Jesus, and when they really called him, and when they really meant it, and when they really called him, and they really meant it, and they say, G, 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 and I begin to see something happen. Something begin to happen. Something begin to change. They Jesus changed. Y'all ain't heard me. I say, they Jesus changed. They were calling him. 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 Jesus. They were saying Jesus. They were saying Jesus. They were saying Jesus. They were saying Jesus. When they got in their heart. I said when they got in their heart. When they got in their heart. When they got in their heart. I said when they got in their heart. They hit Jesus. They saying Jesus. Jesus. They couldn't stop. They couldn't stop. You can have to tell them. You have to tell them. Call Jesus. and Call Jesus. Call Jesus. But when Jesus. When Jesus. Jesus uh, got in their heart. Huh? You couldn't get them to stop. Huh? You couldn't get them to stop. Huh? They say, G, 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 G. And God, and God, God. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about this. I said, y'all don't know nothing about this. Y'all don't know nothing about this. But when one of them, when one of them, when one of them was on the altar, when one of them was on the altar, and they were calling on the Lord, and they were calling on Jesus, and they meant business with God, and after a while, the Holy Ghost will get on that altar. The Holy Ghost will begin to move on that altar. And they say, Jesus, G, G, Jesus, G, Jesus. Jesus, and after a while, you'll see the wave, you'll see the wave of the Holy Ghost fall on that altar. It'll hit one person and it'll hit another person. You ain't never saw them call. It'll hit one person, it'll hit them all down the altar. And after a while, the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord are coming to place. I double dare you, I double dare you to get on your knees. I double I double dare you to call on Jesus. I double dare you to get down there and mean business with him and tell him what you need and tell him what you want and watch God. Good God Almighty, good God Almighty, the wave of God, the wave of God. We got to get out of here, y'all. But I ain't no harm done. Ain't no harm done. Ain't no harm done. Ain't no harm done. Calling, calling, calling. Calling on his name. Yeah! 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 yeah. Yes, sir. Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Under the oath, sir. Glory to God! Hallelujah! Yes, sir. Yes, Glory sir. to God! Jesus! I'm all over it. All over it. In prayer. We need them old good old Terry service of some more, babe. People get down here and don't forget about what they got on. Forget about who they looking at. When nobody looking at them. And they call on the name of the Lord. And when them old mothers behind us, they call him daughter, call him son. Call Jesus, call Jesus, call Jesus, call Jesus, call Jesus. They begin to call him, they begin to get serious. And when they got serious, when they got so much serious by calling on the name of the Lord, God will move on that altar. 
And God will change some things. Honey, you come out, God will change some things. And people, amen, calling on the Lord and getting happy about calling on the Lord. Amen. You didn't, they couldn't even go home. They couldn't even drive home. They had to get somebody to drive them home because they was, they was under the unction of the Holy Ghost. They was under the Spirit of God. They went out, they couldn't get, they couldn't even get together. They couldn't even get themselves together. They were still, as they walked out of the church, church was, church been out a long time ago. And they still over there. Jesus, 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 Jesus. They still calling on the name of the Lord. They still praising God. They go to bed. Amen. In the spirit, in the power of God, and anointing. Somebody had to undress when they got home. They couldn't even get in their pajamas because they was under the power of God. We need a day like that. We need a time like that when we call on the name of the Lord. When we fall under the unction of the Holy Spirit, and God bless us real good. We need to call on Him. We need to call on Him. We need to call on Him. Call on Him till He bless us. Call on Him till He give us a breakthrough. Call on Him till He bring us back. Call on Him. So we get serious about the blessings of God. Woo, hallelujah. Them the days when we really trusted God. You know, people come in there wonder, well, we ain't got time for all that. You got time for everything else. You got time to do everything else. And we ought to have time to go to God in prayer and tell God what we need. And they would go home, they wouldn't, they would be under the unction of the Holy Spirit. Y'all don't hear me. And they go home and they be still receiving the power of God all night long. And you knew it was no put on, honey, it was no put on. But it was the Holy Ghost under, under the unction of the Holy Ghost, under the power of God. And those of you have that lived long enough to experience that, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. It's God moving by his power and by his spirit. See, when God really falls on you, honey, you, you ain't going to hurt yourself. Y'all don't hear me. You ain't going to break no benches and all that kind of stuff. You ain't going to do all that crazy stuff. Amen. When you're under the hundred, you know the Holy, the Holy Spirit going to take care of you. Yes, sir. He'll lead and guide and direct you. Amen. He'll do what he need to do. Amen. When God get through with you, huh? I said, when God get through with you, yeah, honey, you'll be all right, honey. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. And that's what we need in a day like this. I, I declare and I decree, Lord, we need a day like this. See, when we, when we come back to church, when we come back into this place called Mount Calvary as a family, as a church body, yeah, man, you ought to be able to fall under the Holy Ghost right then when you walk in the door because you ought to be so built up. You ought to be so ready. You ought to be so excited. You ought to be ready to receive from God just to be in the house of the Lord. One more time, to worship him in spirit and truth. I'm all over it in prayer. Don't let nothing bother you. But be all over it in prayer. If you're not saved today and don't know the Lord and the partner of your sin, I invite you to meet Jesus the Christ. I invite you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I encourage you to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my mind, come into my soul. Forgive me for all my sins and my transgressions. Save me, Lord. I want to be your child. I want to live for you. I want to be a part of your kingdom. I receive you into my heart. In Jesus' name, thank you for saving me. Amen. Yes, sir. God bless you on the day. We pray God's blessing on you. That God will continue to be with you and you and your family and your friends. That God will bless you. Father, we thank you for this service on today. We thank you for these that are tuned in. These that are listening. These that are hearing this telecast. We pray that you will bless them, oh God. That you will touch them, oh God. Dip them down in your power, your anointing. Let them know that I'm all over it in prayer. In prayer. Because I know what prayer can do. I know what prayer will do. I know what prayer shall do. In the name of Jesus, we pray for those that are sick, those that are shut, and those that are struggling. God, we pray that you will heal, touch, deliver, and set free even now, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name. But you look on the bereaved family. Look on all the members here of Karen and friends. Oh, God, connected to this body of believers. Bless them real good, God. In the name of Jesus. And we give your name the praise. And you give your name the glory. And we give your name the honor. And now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Rest rule in the Bible. Henceforth, now and forevermore. And all of God people say amen. Remember that you don't have any trouble but all you need is faith in God. Until the next time, be blessed and highly favored of the Lord. God bless you. I know.
said, I know. I know. Rock and 